Probably the last 10 headlines you've read about Neanderthals is that they weren't as stupid as we thought. In John Gersh's work as a paleo artist, he reconstructs Neanderthals. Part of his challenge is to honor the recently discovered genetic connection between Homo sapiens and our human cousins. These weren't brutish cavemen of popular mythology. And so I wanted to convey an individual, a sort of a wistful expression. That's right. Early humans mixed with Neanderthals. They mingled, had children, meaning that many of us have some Neanderthals Neanderthal in our DNA, affecting our fertility, immune systems, even how our bodies handled COVID-19. While we have plenty of DNA from Homo sapiens, genes from other early humans have been harder to find. And then, Swedish scientist Svante Pavo cracked the code. He rebuilt a Neanderthal genome, opening up the field and winning himself a Nobel Prize in 2022. This unlocked a host of discoveries that provide important insights into how our body functions and how our brain has developed. 